So, Punk took a stab at this, Rob TV took a stab at this, and they went and created their own rankings of what they said were the top 10, which sort of evolved into the top 20 players in the US. Um, and you know, as always, tier, tier list rankings are always meaningless, but always fun. So I think that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do today. And you know, everyone else kind of did this off the cuff. I came prepared. I came prepared. We got a whole tier list. So the scope of this list is going to be 2020. It's going to be a recent, a recent biased list, 2019 and 2020, uh, the current state of Street Fighter V. So if someone was top tier in season one and they haven't played in a long time, they're not gonna be ranked as high. All right, so here's the facts. Listen, I'm gonna be doing this based on 2019 standings and my general consensus and feeling of the 2020 season that we've been having so far if we had a real a real season i would just say look at the leaderboard look at the cpt leaderboard however the cpt leaderboard um, doesn't always tell the full picture right like if you look at the north america leaderboard this is i just don't think this is very accurate because the way point scaling works for rankings is so bad if you get second at one ranking event but you get third place at like five of them you have more points than the guy who got third five times but is that really better you know the scaling is very off very top heavy for rankings so sometimes you have one good ranking performance and then some other guy who's much more consistent isn't rewarded for that so ranking does not reward consistency at all so i think it's a very flawed thing to look at once you go past the top like once you go past shine i don't i don't want to diminish anyone's accomplishments but once you get past like the huge amount of points, it starts to kind of get like, ah, how can you really judge the difference between five points? So this is what I did. I actually compiled the notes. So this is the actual standings for the uh, for the leaderboards in 2019. First is relative ranking from US A players, and then the right is their actual objective global ranking for 2019. So I compiled these players into an actual tier list complete with their pictures. I had to improvise for a few of them. And I had it to add some new uh, up and comers, some online warriors, online warriors to the mix because online is all we have right now. So your online results matter. So I'm going to be ranking these players. The tiers, that's a little harsh. I don't want to give the tiers. It should be more like one through whatever because I want to order them as best as I can. The tiers kind of makes it feel like a judgment on their play and I don't want to do that. The obvious S punk. Knuckle do. I, I still think items the number one right now. Yeah, tiers are too mean. Each, this should be like one through whatever, four through whatever, ten, maybe like this. It's it's not it's not meant to be tiers. It really do be top three and everybody else. It really do. Next ranking. Um, it's the obvious. I mean, this is pretty much going to be CPT following something with Strider, something with Smug. I'm not sure the order yet. Now it starts to get tricky. I think you got to give credit to JB for doing a lot of work last season and uh, still turning it up in Wednesday Night Fights. Who else should I put in this category? I kind of want to put Samurai up here. So you don't want to think about who can beat who in the rank, but I think that Samurai can beat any of these players. Uh, but it's more about consistency than maybe Duel Kevin. Maybe. I think also, like, Duel Kevin is... I feel like Duel Kevin needs to evolve a little bit more. I don't know. He's... He's almost there. Oh, what about Shine? Like, if I'm gonna put Dual Gev in there, I'm gonna put Shine there as the thing. Oh, and CJ, hold up, where's CJ? How could I forget? I, you know, CJ has done some work. The thing is, CJ doesn't really do too much online, and he got gate kept by Idom and Metro M in the CPT, so it's hard to judge that. Dual Kevin is hella nerfed online. Dual Kevin is hella nerfed online. Is the another big problem. I'm gonna put Kevin down here. I'm gonna put Kevin down here. I'm gonna have some kind of sort of grouping bites here. What about in this ranking? Strider above Smug? Is that a controversial opinion? I like Strider's consistency, but I think Smug has X Factor. But recent results, yeah, recent results, dude. Smug has not been performing as well, but that's, but I'm gonna give credit to 2019 Capcom Cup beating Bonchan. He's in Capcom Cup. Like you can you can use online to supplement your results. I'm not gonna penalize you too hard if you haven't been popping off online right now. You like Smug over Strider? I think on a 
uh, a safe bet is Strider. If you want to go big or go home, it's Smug. I do really feel like Strider is more consistent. I really do. I feel like Smug plays out of his mind, but Strider's consistent. I'm going to leave it like this for right now. JB or Samurai. We're going to talk about X Factor. Samurai's X Factor is next level. However, in the 2019 season, he didn't do th that well. But I mean, that's why these global rankings beyond like the top like 50, it doesn't really matter that much beyond that. Because like, look, Samurai is down here ranked 71, but I'm still putting him above, you know, uh, these players and myself. Once you go certain ways down, it doesn't matter too much. CJ and Sean. Hmm. CJ is like the player's favorite player. CJ is your favorite player's favorite player. I don't know. Sometimes he doesn't be performing that great, though. I'll put Sean over CJ. I think Sean's more consistent in this game. He, he puts in more hours, <laughs> more visible reps. I mean... He's consistently up there. Shine over Samurai? We take 2019 into consideration. Yeah. They're pretty dead even. I'll, I'll leave it like that. Um, Next here, let me just pull some players in here. Let's see how I feel about this once I start pulling people in. Should I put myself up here? I, I need to cut this down. It starts, it's got to start growing. Mandrake's in Capcom Cup. I, let me put some respect on. Let me put some respect on Mandrake right now. Jay Wong, bro, Jay Wong, I can't count Jay Wong for anything. He doesn't play. I don't remember how he got to rank 38 last season. How did he do that? How did he get 470 points last year? Oh, Canada Cup, he popped off. Okay, he popped off at Canada Cup. He got third at Defend the North? What? Anyways, I don't know. I don't know. I guess, I guess. The thing is like, I don't want to put Justin anywhere because he could be here but he's just not trying. It's not his focus right now. Okay, at this point, okay, let me put the con the consistent people. Uh, shit, this is hard. This is getting hard. Okay, let's go down the list. Toy, I think is one of NA's best kept secrets. I don't think he had the, the 2019 season to really show it. The thing is like, I want to count Nephew high too, because Nephew also didn't have the 2019 season, but he's been doing well in the West Coast Online Tournaments. Two-time West Coast Beta Bash champion. Yeah, I think Nephew has a lot of potential to move up this list. I'll put him over Toy. Yeah, after the first, like, after this, the first 10, I don't think it matters, actually. This is just stupid. So the thing is, Joey has huge X Factor. Rob, does Rob do good against any international players? Rob is like one of the best at beating other NA players. But the thing is like, there's there's a different thing between domestic success and beating people at, in premieres. Yeah, Rob did beat Edison in 2018, but I'm not, I'm not counting 2018. Nephew, like at NA regional finals, he beat Edison and Oil King, Jesus. Beat him back to back. Yeah, I kind of want to, yeah, I kind of agree. But the thing is, it's just his 2019 season was, 2019 season wasn't great, but the people he can beat, he can beat a lot of good players. I forgot who CJ beat at final round. Me. This is too hard. <laughs> oh, and that guy Ghost Chips too. He beat me too. What an asshole. This doesn't matter anymore. There's everybody else. I want to give some credit to the people doing work online right now. I don't know how much work Mario's doing. This is stupid. This is a dumb idea. <laughs> K Bright just hasn't been playing. I probably shouldn't even even put him in the list. I just don't feel like he's active right now in tournament scene because it's all online. But he did he got 57th in the last CPT. <laughs> Does this seem less insulting? This is a bad idea. What am I doing? <laughs> this is a bad idea. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> what did I get myself into? Okay, if we're talking an international scale, if we're talking international scale right now, we couldn't even do this. If we're doing international scale, I'd have to knock people down. I have to knock people down. This is the only way it works. No, this ain't right. This ain't right. Well, I'm count. I'm trying to count. I'm trying to count 2020 a little bit. Ah, oh, man, this is a bad idea. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, why don't I do top 13 and then everybody else? Top 14 and then everybody else. Everybody else. 
Okay, okay, there we go. Yay! <laughs> Yay! That's fair, right? That's fair. I thought using a tier list format would make this cooler because we could have the pictures. But, uh... Now I feel like I'm playing with fire. <laughs> I don't even want to count him. I'm DQing Justin. I'm DQing Justin. I'm DQing K-Brad. I think this is the best I can do. I can't split hairs any further than this. This is semi-ordered, but not really. So we'll go down the list. Idom, Punk, Do, those are my top three. Strider, Smug, JB, Shine, Samurai Nephew, CJ, Duel Kevin, Mandadake, and then everybody else. This was a mistake. How did, how did fucking, well, I get how Punk did it. How could Rob do a top 10 list? Anyone in this category can beat anyone in this category. I mean, less likely the higher you go up. This was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I feel like the DQ column is disrespectful. Okay, I got I got to cut it off. I think this is it. <sighs> I think this is it. Listen, once you go down to here, it's like, what else? What What do you want me to do? There's 300 people that could be here. I think that's it. We're gonna grip it and rip it. Oh, should we tweet this? I'm gonna do it and regret it. You're right. I'll save it for the video. I'll save it for the video. You guys are right. The video allows you to hear my thought process, understand my sympathetic nature. You have to tweet it with the video though? No, I mean, the video will be clickbait enough.